San Juan police says this is the largest seizure in the department's history, and it's all thanks to a week-long undercover operation. For about three years, Maria Garza allegedly ran a lucrative business. The illegal sale of hundreds of prescription medications and over-the-counter drugs, most of them from Mexico. We, we observed her make two deliveries uh, after conducting traffic stops on those vehicles. We found narcotics within the vehicle. Um, our investigation led one of our officers uh, to her at the flea market where he negotiated with her at the Alamo flea market for the future pur purchase of uh, Xanax bars. According to San Juan police, Garza traveled to Nuevo Progreso, Mexico, up to three times a week to buy the pharmaceuticals, selling them at the Alamo flea market and even delivering them personally to her clientele. Some of the products are controlled substances, making this a criminal activity. The difficult access and the high prices in the American market keep clandestine businesses like Garza's afloat. But Garcia says the issue with conducting this type of business is the lack of regulation, which has caused serious health problems for youth in the community. We're having a lot of problems here in town right now with uh, the younger generation, with the younger crowd, you know, I'm talking 18 and younger, um, that are having access to these pills. Uh, they're getting, in their terms, they're getting barred out. A lot of the burglary suspects that we're getting, when we find them, they're high on, on the, the alprazolam. Um, we've had overdoses uh, where we've had uh, juveniles take too much and mix it with other items and they end up overdosing and passing away. Alprazolam, also known as Xanax, is one of the drugs allegedly bought by Garza's clients to get high. Each container sold for $90, five times its cost in Mexico. The total confiscated, $14,000. Apart from the drugs, investigators took close to $20,000 in checks and cash, a small amount considering the $250,000 bond Garza received for the charges of possession and distribution of a controlled substance. San Juan detectives will continue undercover operations and monitoring other sellers. Oscar Morgan reporting for Fox 2 News. Back to you.